Hello everyone, Zikru is probably the most amazing EV company in the world. They just launched upgraded versions of the 001 and 007 models. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to produce the video for the 007 model as planned. I was thinking of doing it within the next week, but Zikru unexpectedly improved the car even before I could start the video. However, a full video of the 007 will follow soon. Let's now see what they changed. Last night, on August 13th, Zikra unveiled new technology that I'm excited to introduce in this video. Just two weeks ago, Zikra completed the delivery of their 300,000th vehicle, achieving this milestone in only 33 months. This sets a new record for the fastest delivery by a premium pure electric brand. Zikra is committed to maintaining its leadership in an increasingly competitive market. Their evolution isn't just about isolated breakthroughs, their goal is to achieve industry-leading excellence across every aspect. The intelligent drive, intelligent cockpit, and intelligent driving system that were launched yesterday are all part of a new generation of updates, what you see is what you get. These updates have debuted on two new 2025 models, which they officially launched last night. Let's start with the 2025 Zikur 007. Just eight months after its launch, the 007 has evolved once again. The 2025 Zikur 007 has seen significant improvements in both acceleration and charging speed. Performance has been enhanced through algorithm optimization, with the 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration time improving from 3.5 seconds to 3.4 seconds. The rear-wheel drive model has even more significant improvements, reducing its 0 to 100 km per hour time from 5.4 seconds to 5 seconds. More importantly, the 007 now debuts with a full-stack, self-developed second-generation golden battery. This groundbreaking power battery surpasses the performance of traditional NCM batteries, thanks to Zikr's advanced in-house development capabilities. The second-generation golden battery has a maximum charging rate of 5.5C, allowing it to charge from 10% to 80% in just 10.5 minutes, making it the fastest-charging mass-produced electric vehicle battery in the world. Significant strides have also been made in intelligent drive technology. Zikra OS has officially been upgraded to Zikra AI OS, fully integrating the self-developed KRAI large model into the cockpit ecosystem. This marks Zikra's entry into the era of proactive intelligence, where the cockpit is not only powerful but also capable of learning and predicting user behavior. Today's proactive AI intelligent cockpit has memory, can anticipate needs, and even execute tasks before they are thought of. The EVA system has been upgraded to AI EVA, boasting the industry's strongest natural semantic recognition capability, allowing for interactions as natural as chatting with a friend. The 2025 Zikur 007 sets a new standard with LiDAR and two Orin X intelligent driving chips integrated across all its models. Zikur's full-stack, self-developed SEA intelligent driving system has been upgraded to SEA intelligent driving 2.0. The key innovation in this upgrade is the integration of the self-developed end-to-end large model into the system's underlying architecture, transitioning the intelligent driving neural network from rule-driven to scene-driven decision-making. This shift enables a driving style that mimics that of an experienced human driver, relying on rich experience and intuition, especially in complex scenarios where fixed control algorithms are no longer sufficient. On the functionality front, the advanced intelligent driving performance of SEA Intelligent Driving 2.0 now fully integrates both driving and parking. Practical features like remote control fingertip parking, representing a significant upgrade from the previous generation, are now available. This system introduces the industry's first mass-produced automatic mechanical parking function, capable of managing all three-dimensional garages across the country. Most importantly, Zikr's Urban NZP is here, its ultimate capability is to achieve full-scenario urban intelligent driving, smoothly navigating from parking space to parking space without the need for driver intervention. The phase delivery of the commuting model will now begin. By the end of the year, the mapless technology-based Urban NZP, Navigation Zone Pilot, will also enter phase delivery. This marks the next step in Zikr's evolution, with intelligent drive, an advanced cockpit, and cutting-edge driving technology all representing a new generation of innovation. In just eight months, a new round of technological iteration and product evolution has been completed. Behind this rapid progress lies the immense effort and dedication of the R&D team. I would like to introduce three of Zikr's technical R&D leaders, Pu Fujong, who is responsible for the intelligent cockpit, 
Maijun, who led the development of Zikru's self-developed golden battery, and Chen Yi, who brought SEA intelligent driving into the industry's top tier. Pu Fuzhong and his team created the industry's first proactive AI intelligent cockpit, while Maijun completed in just over two years what took others at least five years. These three individuals are the driving force behind Zikru's evolution achievements. During the launch event, they provided a detailed explanation of their accomplishments, which my viewers will learn more about in the video I will make about the 2025 Zikur 007. For now, I can share that the 007 has received additional upgrades, including new colors, a completely redesigned interior, integrated hidden light housing, and new rims, making the 007 even more sporty and performance-oriented. Now, let's move on to the upgrades of the 2025 Zikur 001. The 001 has always been Zikur's flagship model, and since its launch over two years ago, its cumulative deliveries have exceeded 200,000 units. The all-new 001, released at the beginning of the year, has delivered over 50,000 units in just five months, surpassing all SUVs and sedans. It has become the sales champion across all pure electric models priced at 250,000 yuan and above. Monthly sales have often surpassed those of comparable luxury sedans from BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi, making it the top choice in the premium segment. Today, the 2025 Zikur 001 evolves once again, with a focus on the intelligent experience that users value most, ensuring it remains at the forefront of the industry. This flagship model has also been enhanced with the upgraded Zikur AI OS and the advanced self-driving technology known as SEA Intelligent Driving 2.0, which I mentioned earlier in connection with the 007. I've already made a video about the Zikur all-new 001 and the 001 FR, which my viewers can check out to get more insights. Combined with the upcoming video about the 007, it should become clear what these upgrades, Zikur AI OS and SEA Intelligent Driving 2.0, truly mean for the future of Zikur's vehicles. Additionally, Zikr has introduced a new fast charging station that autonomously extends the charging nozzle to connect with the vehicle, allowing for a seamless and fully automated charging process. The driver doesn't need to be in the car during charging, and once the process is complete, the vehicle automatically searches for a nearby parking spot, preferably one that is free of charge, and parks itself. This innovative technology is yet another example of how Zikur is pushing the boundaries of convenience and efficiency in electric vehicle ownership. What you've learned from this video so far is already impressive, but let's take a moment to compare this with Volkswagen. For fun, we'll look at an article I found online at ecomento.de. The article is in German, but let me tell you what it's about. Volkswagen originally planned to release the ID Golf in 2025, but due to ongoing software issues at their subsidiary carried, the launch has been postponed to no earlier than 2029. This delay also affects other models as the introduction of their new SSP vehicle architecture is delayed as well. What do you think, where will Zikr be by 2029? And do you believe that German car makers can compete by then, or will the gap just increase? Write your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more first-hand information about Chinese EV innovations. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.